I made a video some while ago about the oil paint filter in Photoshop because some users experienced issues when they tried to enable it. So here are some comments from people who managed to solve their problem with this filter. You saved me from smashing my monitor. Actually, you made my day. Thanks so much for your help. Great video. Thanks for the awesome tip. I finally got oil paint filter working thanks to you. I love you, sir. You saved my f***ing night. I hope that you get whatever you want in life. That's a pretty happy user right there. Hey man, thanks. But there are also comments from people who didn't succeed. I have the latest version of CC and there is no oil paint menu option at all. I cannot enable use graphic processor, it is grayed out. Can you help me with it? Well, I will try in this video. Hey, this is Chris and welcome to iStalker. If you have an issue with the oil paint filter, please watch this video first. This is part one. Then come back to this tutorial. I will give you a new tip to solve your problem. This is a fix for the users who have two graphics cards. I have, for example, an Intel integrated graphics card and a dedicated 2GB NVIDIA GeForce GT 540M. So let me show you what happens in Photoshop. I'm running the software using the integrated graphics card now. And let's open an image. Okay, so I'm going to filter stylize and you can see that I don't have access to the oil paint filter right now it's still grayed out no problem I will close Photoshop and then if I click here this is the NVIDIA GeForce experience and this is the icon which tells me if I am using the graphics card GPU right click on it and then choose open the NVIDIA control panel you need to access this menu if it's not active. It's called 3D settings. And I have two tabs, global settings and program settings. Choose program settings and there are two steps here. Number one, select the program to customize. Here in this list you should find Adobe Photoshop. If you don't find it, then you should press add and another window will show up and take a look in this list if Photoshop is present. If it's there, just select it and press Add Selected Program. If it's not, then you can press the Browse button, navigate to the folder where Photoshop is installed and add it to this list. In my case, I will hit Cancel because I already have the program in my list. Number two, and here is the key. Like I said, I have two graphic cards. Right now, the integrated is selected which does not support the oil paint filter in Photoshop. So I will select the NVIDIA processor and hit apply. So this means that when I will start Photoshop, the program will use the NVIDIA GPU power. And let's see what happens. Let's open the same image. And by the way, if you click on this image, which I just opened, it will take you to the double exposure tutorial uploaded recently on my channel. Don't miss it, it's easy to follow and if you enjoyed it, please like it and comment under the video. Okay, back to the filter. I will check my performance settings in Edit, Preferences and Performance. Photoshop has detected the NVIDIA graphics card. I will click the Use Graphic Processor, then on Advanced Settings and then you can choose to remain on basic or normal, depending on your computer speed. But make sure you select use graphic processor and use OpenCL. And then hit OK. So let's go to filter, stylize, and there you go. The filter is now enabled. So go ahead and start celebrating. If you have a different graphic card, I cannot help you, unfortunately, but you should find a similar option just like the one you just saw in this tutorial. If you think I deserve it, please give me a thumbs up 
and a comment below the video. I am so curious if this trick solved your issue with this filter. And of course, subscribe to my channel for more cool tutorials.